Hey everybody, it's Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar, and today we're joined by Caleb and Mike from LR Bags to talk about their new Voice Print DI. How are you guys doing? Doing really good. Thanks for having us. Oh uh, yeah, thanks for hanging with us. So this is a, a kind of an unusual pedal for you guys. We were talking before that it kind of works along with your phone, where the phone kind of does some of the heavy lifting as well. Can you, Mike? Can you kind of walk us through? what the DI is about and, uh, and what the process is for using it? Yeah, so essentially as a company in acoustic amplification, our goal since the beginning was to capture the instrument the best we can. And that's evolved a lot over the past four decades since we've been in business. And about four or five years ago, we, really, we realized that the uh, digital platform is becoming so powerful with phone technology. And that was a big shift for us as, you know, well known as an analog company. So we invested everything into this technology. Um, but essentially what we're trying to do with the voice print and the acoustic live app is to correct the sound of an acoustic pickup to sound even more like your specific instrument. It's not supposed to just make a pickup sound better. It's, it's supposed to make your guitar come through when you play live. So uh, is this kind of centered around uh like impulse responses, I know a lot of people are familiar with that kind of, and using those, is this kind of a similar thing? Yeah, I mean, it gets kind of complicated when you delve into what's an impulse response. This would be our proprietary version of an impulse response, so it's a little bit more complicated, but essentially that's what it is. The difference here, once again, is it's not applying another impulse response created on a different instrument to make your pickup sound better. It's really how can we analyze your specific instrument and bring that through when you play live. Can you kind of walk us through? So let's say somebody gets this pedal and they have and, and Caleb has the guitar there and they pull this out of the box. What's going to be the way the best way to kind of set this pedal up with their particular guitar? So uh, just right off the bat, to be clear with everybody, uh, it does require a smartphone and currently it requires an iPhone. We are actively developing uh, the Android version, which should be out later this year for anybody that's okay. wondering. Um, so you do need a phone. But you don't need a lot of studio equipment. You don't need microphones, uh, which, you know, in the past, that's creating an impulse response required, you know, a decent amount of knowledge and actually a lot of external gear. And what we've done is we've democratized the process. We know that almost everybody has a smartphone and the capabilities of them are incredible. So instead of packing all that processing power into a pedal, uh, the phone's doing the heavy lifting. So um, essentially you get the box, uh, you sync it with your phone, and within just a couple minutes, you're able to start creating voice prints um, with the app. Uh, the app's called Acoustic Live. It's free to download. You can actually download it even if you don't have the pedal and go through the explore mode to see all the different functions. Um, it won't work, but you'll be able to see the capabilities of the app. So can you walk us through creating a, a, a voice print? So I'm going to go here to create new voice print. And I'm just going to select the uh, standard voice print option. We have an advanced voice print, uh, which is uh, also available. But for this purpose, we'll just do the regular voice print. And you just follow the four steps laid out in the app. The first is tapping. Then we do strumming and picking and scales. You really don't have to do anything fancy for any of the steps. It really is just following uh, the instructions in the app. So I'm going to hit start step one. tapping. Step two is strumming. And I'm playing up and down the neck so that the, uh, the phone is really getting a good picture of what the guitar is doing across the whole frequency range. And lastly, we have scales. And just like the other steps, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can play an actual scale or just chromatic notes, whatever works best for you. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're done, so I'm going to hit generate voice print so we can preview our voice print and compare it to the regular pickup signal. So the element under saddle pickup um, is the most, you know, any kind of under saddle pickup is the most kind of most common pickup that you're going to find. Uh, they, they're really common when you buy a guitar at a, uh, any shop. Um, so it works on a wide range of pickups because we're actually tracking the pickup, but we wanted to show you what you would expect on a really common pickup. So this is bypassed. This is just the pickup signal on its own. And this is with the voice print that we just made. Back to the bypassed. It's a pretty nice improvement. Yeah. So your kind of signal uh, flow is that you're plugged from the guitar, guitar's volume is up into the pedal, and then your phone connects, is it via Bluetooth to the pedal? Correct. And then that's how you start, and then you go through the process, and then there you go. And we're all set, and then we have a bunch of other controls in the app for tone shaping, EQ, and uh, anti-feedback, a lot of stuff to give you really all the essential tools you need to play live and get the best sound possible. One of, the, nice. one of the great things about this process and actually giving you the tools to actually create the voice print yourself and analyze your specific instrument is so accurate that it's able to predict where your guitar is going to feed back. It knows where the peak resonances are and then we create inverse filters or notch filters um, that's specific to your instrument. And that just shows the accuracy of what we're able to capture when we give you uh, the chance to create the process with your tools. So once you've created the, uh, the voice print, you have it in your pedal, what are the controls on the pedal that you can use kind of on the fly to help maybe tweak things or switch presets or? So we have, we kept it really simple. Uh, fortunately, the phone's doing most of the heavy lifting in the creation process, so we don't have to build that into the pedal, which is great. So we can create the layout just for everything you need live and nothing more really. Um, so we have the anti-FB, that's your anti-feedback, and that's the uh, filter that's created specifically towards this instrument and that preset that's stored in the pedal. Um, you have the voice knob, which is the voice print that you created for that instrument. The blend goes between your raw pickup signal and you can go up to 100% uh, voice print. And then you have your select knob. You can store up to 99 presets in this pedal, so it's pretty much going to cover all your acoustic instruments that you're going to be taking out on the road. Um, there's a pad, so if you have a really hot input signal, you can bring that down with the pad. And then the two foot switch functions, you have your mute, and if you long press it, it will uh, act as a bypass, so you can hear everything just bypass. You can hear um, no processing. And then this foot switch over here is next, so you can scroll through, so if you pick up uh, another guitar, you can go to the next. Um, effects, uh, send and return, so there's your effects loop. You don't want to put anything between your pickup signal and the voice print because it basically is reacting to what your pickup sounds like that you created the voice print with. So that's why anytime you're running effects with this, keep that in the effects loop. It's got a ground lift and XLR out, quarter inch out. Take it. So this would definitely be like the first pedal in your in your pedal board. Yeah, I'm sure you could put a tuner in front of it, but other than that, I would uh, That'd be definitely hit that first. So what'll be pricing availability on the new DI? They're available now, and uh, pricing U.S. street price is three ninety nine. The app is free. I encourage anybody that's interested to go download that. It's type in Apple Store, uh, LR Bags Acoustic Live one word. All right, Caleb, we're going to have you play us out, but thank you so much for joining us today. This is Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for plenty more gear demos. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks. Thanks. thanks.